Alright guys, so this video is going to be about the world of breeding and our breeders making a gazillion dollars from breeding dogs. And the answer to that is no, they're not. And I'm going to break it down to you real fast, okay? The, this litter that I have now, I will make an average of $377 profit, which comes out to about uh, $21 a day. And at eight hours, it's $2.60 per month. Then I'm gonna break it down for you real fast. This litter right here, as y'all can see right there, it's gonna cost me $490 when they go to the vet. Then, you know, they've been eating premium meat, so from the age of uh, four weeks until eight weeks is a growth development phase where they have to eat and get the best calcium they can get. And that came up to $100. Uh, the deworming medication came up to 45 The food that they eat, the diamond and the Victor dog food came up to $45 for two bags. The goat milk that we give them came up to $35. The dog pen that we order for them that um, the poop falls on the bottom of the crate and it doesn't get on them to keep them clean, that came up to $150. Their collars alone came up to $30. The shampoo that we use on them to help deep flea them and keep them nice and uh, flurry and stuff, it came up to $20. And the deep flea uh, medication that we put on them came up to $45. So basically, a mom has to go back. Every time a pup a mom has a litter, she has to go to the vet for $250. So in essence, we spent uh, $1,213 before any pup was actually placed with anybody or so. Uh, that averaged out to about $173 a puppy. That's what it came to. Then, if we subtract that, the, the pups are being sold for $550. So the profit on those pups was uh, $377. If you look at the total, the profit that we made off the litter was $2,639. Now, if we go back, uh, we started, we got the puppies, uh, four week, four month process. That's 120 days. So 160 days. So if you look at um, mom being pregnant, that's 65 days. We have to give her on a premium dog food and all the good nutrition for the puppies and everything. And then she's sheltered in her own kennel. Then, you know, if we ravish that down to a four month period per day, that was $21 a day that uh, uh, I would make on each puppy of working, which averages down for eight hours a day of work with the moms and the pups, comes to $2.60 a day. That's uh, how much I'm making per hour, $2.60. So when people often say, oh my God, breeders are killing it, they're doing an awesome job, you know, they're just getting all this money, good breeders are not. We spend all our money up front for our dogs to make sure that the puppies are healthy, they have a clean environment, and they're getting the medication and they're getting the, uh, the med uh, medical visits that they need. And often most people who think that way think, oh my God, these, these they're, they're crazy. All the mom had the pup, she fed them and it was so easy. It's not, it's nothing like that. Um, but if you go back and you look at uh, uh, bad breeders, yeah, of course, they're probably making a profit because they don't take the dogs to the vet. They don't give them the dog food they need. They're probably not in a clean environment. Uh, they're not getting the, the mother's exams. So they're, they're keeping a profit on all that. And they don't really care about the puppies or their lives or, or what have you. They just care about every dollar they can get. And that's the reason why when you get a puppy and that puppy won't potty train is because he's been living in a dirty environment. He's used to living in poop. He's used to someone not cleaning his kennel. He's used to just doing it right there. And those tend to be the same dogs that eat their poop because they weren't getting enough dog food because the breeder didn't pay for that stuff. He didn't pay to get them dog food. He just uh, gave them as, as little as can and, and they're going to go back and eat that poop to get more food when they're hungry. And the same thing with the parents. That's why they won't show you the parents because the parents aren't healthy. They're, they've been sick. They haven't seen a vet. They didn't spend any money on that. So this is often people always think that breeders are making a lot of money and we're not. When I breed, I do it because I love the dogs. I love to see someone uh, bragging about the dog they got from me and how smart they were to be trained and how healthy they are and how beautiful they are. That's the reason why a good breeder doesn't make a dollar. They do it because they love the breed. A bad breeder does it for the money. And you will know because if you ask them, let me see where the pups are living at. Let me see what the parents look like. They don't want to do it. They want to meet you somewhere. They wanted to exchange the puppy 
so you have no idea of what you're getting and uh, again on average uh, a good breeder makes about two to three dollars a day for four months breeding and taking care of puppies and a bad breeder I don't know what they make because I'm not a bad breeder so I don't uh, assess how much money they keep in their pocket but a good breeder doesn't make a dollar barely a dollar so just so you know when you're thinking about uh, going to good going to a breeder and it's not some questions you need to want to know is see where the puppies are living at see the medical records see what they're doing with their dogs if they don't want to show you that stuff then you need to go to another breeder because uh, breeding is not a it is not a money-making environment I mean you're with puppies and dogs 24 7 if they do a part-time and they have a bunch of dogs I would stay very away from them because when I when I have my dogs, I spend between eight to twelve hours a day with my dogs and my puppies, just handling them, cleaning pens, feeding them, taking them out, and um, you know, there's a big difference in a trainer, a breeder, and a kennel master. You know, a breeder just breeds dogs. That's all they do. They don't train dogs. Uh, trainer, they train dogs, but they don't breed them. And a kennel master does both. So there's a big difference. So again, I just wanted to put that out there, and I hope you guys understand what I'm saying when it comes to breeding and how efficient it is and how much it costs to do it so um, someone's doing it for twelve thirteen hundred dollars i want to know where all that money is going why are they if they're just saying that they're doing it because they got titles and they're champion lines and that's why they're doing twelve hundred dollars but they don't have any vet papers and none of that of the above then yeah i don't think it's um something you want to do yeah, you want to go to somebody who's spending time and care on their dogs and they love their dogs and they're willing to show you where they live at, how they treat them, what is their program and how the dogs are raised. That's just my opinion. But thank you guys for watching. God bless and uh, get out there and get you some good dogs. Don't just get any dog because of the price. Get the dog because of how it was raised and if the breeder or the trainer.